Hi guys and welcome to Hotel Management System Developed in Excel using VBA. Alright, so let me show you guys how this works. Now with reset, we can select type of room, single room number, and there we get the extension to the room. Enter the customer's name, let's say his name is Henry or Ellen Moore. Okay, address of Mrs. Small, a five tree house. Okay, D has the postcode telephone number and citizen of, let's say Canadian citizen. Now, she wants single room number, we already have that, and how long is she staying for? She, the system will have to work that out. Date of birth. Let's say she was born to, uh, born on the seventh of the fourth, ninety eight. National insurance number or any other form of identification, driving license. And click on. Okay, she's going to be there for five days. And you can work this out here. Let's use the calculator to add whatever you intend to add up there, or you can convert it. So she is a Canadian citizen and she's got maybe 500 Canadian dollars, or maybe 500 British dollars if converted to Canadian. There we go. Okay, so what I'll do now is to take you guys straight into. Um, Excel development environment we put one of these together welcome to hotel management system developed in Excel in the first place we need this URL this very site I'm already in the site that's the URL if you guys need it scroll right down those are the lines of codes that we need these very codes right there Okay, from here down, the instructions are there. But if you scroll right down, you can always click on here and download the file. So I've already downloaded the file. Let me show you guys the file. And right here, that's the downloaded file. I would now unzip this very file. Right click and extract. There I have the extracted file. So then double click on the extracted file. This is how the extracted file looks like, but I don't need any of the content here. You can always click and just delete everything or go to enable. Let's come straight to the developer. Come right here. Now, while inside the developer, I would like to save this very file here. You can just click on import file ex export file that's the file I intend to export I'm gonna export it right in here save that's it done I can now close this very file up because I don't need it anymore okay so I'm gonna close that and close this as well don't so right in here I have the extracted file or exported file I'm now going to import this file into my application so I'm going to start by clicking on Excel starting all over but now I have my own workbook open Let's save this click on file Try that again, file, save as, and I will now save it into my own workspace, right here somewhere. And let's just give it a name, let's create a folder for it, call it a tell, there, and this 
total system there okay now drop this down and select enable macro save there that's my file save the next thing is you go into the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab go to file and options right inside options go to customize ribbon inside your customized ribbon make sure the developer checkbox is checked and click on ok so come in here select visual basic now that you are inside the development area right click and select import that's the file that I want click on the file and import it straight onto your system now that is the file there double click on it there we go the file is right there okay I'm gonna close this you can always run this file and that's what you get but that is not what I need this file for because if I click on it okay you get the data and the file is exited all right what I need this file for is my hotel management system so what I'll do first is to define the size of the form so in here let's come into the form and change the width I'm gonna change the width to let's go for I'm gonna go for about 1020 that is my width right there let's see if you guys can see that then the height I'm going to make that 600 plus 686 there okay so if I run it and this is how the whole interface looks like if I click on any of these what will happen is it will just exit the system that is how this calendar is designed you see that okay but let's double click on the form or any of those buttons here are the lines of codes that you guys will find right inside the lines of code that you can always copy on the website that I showed you okay those are the lines of codes okay you need some but I don't need it all all right back in here I will now select all of these move this very calendar and the label that's just a help label is called help label that's it right there select it all and just move it aside for now just for now pending when I redesign the whole interface okay the next thing I like to do is select the label okay I, need, I do need a command button one more button there a label that's a label there and this label let's close this this very label I'm going to now change the border style of that label to border style single what about the font let's change the font type to something a little bit more pronounced make that bold maybe 14 for now and get rid of the content in there okay move this down a little bit I'm gonna copy it because I'm, I will need about three of those for now so the very first one is there let's change the name of that to LBL current date and the second one is going to be known as L rent date and this is the last one is going to be known as LBL total date total number of date here yeah. number of date okay and this is going to be known as let's just call it BTN total date right and let's just enter 
maybe total date in there okay the first thing i like to do is when i double click on this form i'll go straight to the form initialize and write it in here right underneath let's say lbl current date dot caption equals format date right that should give me the current date so if i come right in here and run it we we'll get the current dates right in there now what i want to do is when i click on any of these i would like how many days the customer would like to stay in the hotel to be displayed here and number of dates will appear in here so let's do that get the name of this and write in here copy that i've copied the name of this other one and here each of these buttons they do have they have their own names look at their names there d2 d3 and so on and this value they were they are supposed to be right inside the the spreadsheet itself or yeah the spreadsheet so if i run it let's say we have the spreadsheet open somewhere okay if you click on any of this you should be able to see the dates appear on the spreadsheet that is it right there okay but that's not what i want what i want is double click on the form load itself each of this button that send the value to the spreadsheet i'm going to replace this with the name of my text so let's but i doubt if label does i don't think label has value as method no okay we change that to caption let's see if it doesn't work then we might end up using something else but let's first thing first select it all and press f control h or you can just go to edit and replace and paste that in there dot caption all right so i'm going to replace it all yes yeah, 42 of those that is correct as you can see it's replaced and you see unload me i'm going to get rid of all the unload me unload me delete it all yeah i don't need that but all of the unload me on the calendar button is all deleted now if i run my program and i select any of this you can see it's telling me June so the customer he or she will be staying from the uh, from on the 11th of June and up to 38th of June okay now what we then need to do is to be able to work out how many days the customer is staying in here so we double click on this it's just to work it out double click and right in here we enter as follows lbl total number of the dot caption equals date different so let's make that date and comma c date open a bracket lbl current date dot caption and close that then enter a comma then su subtract the following the other day that will be lbl and total i think it's called rent dates dot caption so what will happen is if we run the oh let's see what have we done okay one more bracket missing close that yeah if we run the program now 
and that is today's date and supposing the customer intend to stay up to maybe 29 okay that is the date in there we can always work out how many days the customer is staying there okay that's the whole idea of that now let's redesign our own our interface and make it look more presentable so what I'll do is maybe speed up the design of the whole interface okay now so here let's enter a couple of labels here on this very label that will be this is how many days okay so come right in here close this and change this to maybe current date here current date okay so let's speed up the whole design of this interface and I will get back to you guys very very shortly because that might take some time the design of the interface is completed so I'm going to run the system for you guys to see how it all looks like this is how it all looks like we have calculator in the air it's not doing anything right now currency converter and this is the only bit that do one or two things okay for the date and so on and here we have customer details nationality and so on well the other thing is um, I think maybe the nationality we should just change that to combo box room number combo box and we should change this to combo box as well so let's come back in here I'll get rid of all of this and just change them to nationality combo box let's come in here with a combo box yeah just drop one of those here right and the room number I'm gonna get rid of that telephone number as well those will be combo box or uh, maybe the telephone number should be based on the room number or room number should be based on the room exchange or extension okay number all right okay so we can even convert that to a label okay that will become a label copy label dump it there all right now what else can we use a combo box for what about gender gender is either male or female okay there are combo box as well right room type we may still have to rearrange some of these because I okay identity type right okay what s come back here I think that might be it so let's run it again and see how it all looks this is how it's looking now okay all right okay let's call it the end of the first part of this tutorial